I'm Will, and this is a short little vlog on concealed carry firearms. This is just some guy's opinion, so it might not even matter. Do I carry a backup gun? Usually not. But I have in the past, and I'm starting to do so a little bit more these days. A backup gun is free. It can be a different caliber or a different model than your primary gun. Though, I think it's best practice to have a secondary gun that's as most like your first as possible. The same manual of arms, the same caliber, if possible. The reasoning behind that is, if you ever have to go for a backup gun, things have probably gone to hell pretty badly. Your brain will be scrambled. It's probably not a good idea to try to switch calibers or switch manual of arms between weapons in the thick of things. So, a firearm that's most like the one that you're most familiar with is probably best. For example, my backup gun, when I do carry one, is the Smith & Wesson Shield. I've had this gun since when it first came out, and it's been excellent ever since. I've tried the Glock 43s. I, for some reason, like the Shield just a little bit better when it comes to the micro guns. But that's just me. So, this gun has the same manual of arms as my Glock 19. It has the same feel and the same function. We're loaded up with some snap caps, and we've got an empty gun. Using the shield, firing the shield, it's basically like a Glock to me. Loaded up with some snap caps, everything basically has the same manual of arms, the same function as my Glock. So I'd like to have something that my brain remembers, if ever needed, in the thick of things. So is it necessary for the average concealed carrier to go and get a backup gun? In my opinion, no. I think your primary gun is good enough. I think you should carry extra rounds of ammunition on you so that you can fix your gun if it does go down. A backup gun is an option for some. If you want to carry one, make sure that you train with it. The problem with backup guns is that people will just carry them and not actually train how to deploy them or train how to use them as much as their primary weapon. So make sure that you train correctly with your backup gun if you do carry one. That means more than just going to the range with it and shooting. But deploy it safely. Make sure that you do dry practice with it from your secondary position. If you carry it on your ankle, train from that. If you carry it on your belt somewhere, train for where it is. So make sure that your body knows your secondary weapon, where it is, how to use it subconsciously, so that your brain doesn't have to work overtime in a situation where you need it. So when I do carry my shield as a backup gun, I usually carry it in a DeSantis ankle holster. I've had this holster for years. It's been working wonderfully uh, through harsh conditions. Fleece is still good. Velcro is still strong. Holster still protects. So basically, the gun rides right into the ankle holster this way onto the ankle. Good system. I use it for a long time in conjunction with my primary gun if I do use backup. Backup guns are generally for police officers and military people. Do I think a civilian or average concealed carrier needs a backup gun? Is it necessary? In my opinion, no. But it's also my opinion that if a civilian or CCW person wants to have a backup gun and carry one, do so. Just get training with it. Make sure that you know what you're doing with it. Make sure that you don't get cross signals in your brains when you're going to do different guns, if ever need be. There's that old adage that two is one and one is none. That's true to an extent. But what you carry and how you carry is your prerogative. If you choose to carry a backup gun, do so responsibly. Get training with it. Make sure you know how to use it. You know how to deploy it. Carrying two guns on you has pros and cons. It really just depends on what you feel that you need to do for yourself. So should you carry a backup gun as a concealed carrier? Sometimes. That's all I have to say on the subject there. Again, I'm just some guy. My opinion might not even matter. But thanks for watching.